Hello everyone, this is Dee Rondinella, Coordinator of Technology Training for the Star County District Library. Today's topic for the sneak peek into technology is the Ohio Digital Library. We will take a look at how to locate the site, log into the, your account, search and borrow an item, place a hold, and then locate your holds and your loans. To find the digital library, there's many different ways. I'm going to use the Stark County District Library website to launch from at starklibrary.org. I will come up here to the top bar where you can see the word services, and I'm going to then click on 24-7 online library. It takes me to a page that gives me many offerings of our digital collection. The one that I'm looking for is under ebooks. I'm going to click on that, and right there you're going to see Overdrive Libby. Ohio Digital Library. When I click on that, it's going to take me to a page to give me a little bit of information about the how you borrow and the different options that you have inside of your account. Everybody who has a Stark Library card already has an account with the Ohio Digital Library. I'm going to click on the button that says Open Overdrive. And it's going to take me to the web page for the Ohio Digital Library. You're going to see it's very distinct with its colors, but it also has in the top left-hand corner its logo and the words, the Ohio Digital Library. That's also their home button. So as you navigate through the site, you can click on that at any time to go back to the front page. Let's take a minute and go over the different options that you have available. First, if you look to the left and move over to the right, you're going to see that you can search by subjects, collections, Kindle books, and mysteries. If you go further over, you can do a keyword search and you will see a bookshelf, that's your account, and then the option to sign in. Below that are some of the opportunities that they provide you that you can borrow right away. I'm going to go ahead first though, before borrowing anything, I'm gonna sign in to my library card through the sign in button. You're going to notice that mine popped up to already say the Stark Library. That's because I use the site quite a bit. If you don't see that, use the drop down arrow and select it from the list. I'm now going to type in my entire library card number. You can also use your online library card if you have that one available. I am now brought into the page that looks exactly the same except that if you notice where it used to say sign in, it now says my account. Underneath the my account option, you're going to see that you can locate your loans, your holds, you can create a wish list, you can rate titles, make some recommendations and change some of your settings. For now, I would like to search for an item. When I click on the search button, it brings me up with the keyword box. I'm gonna go ahead and type in my favorite author, but I want to show you some things inside of here. It does give me a list of options that I can choose from, which here is my offer, author that I like so well, but I wanted to take your eyes over here to the right hand side of the screen. You will see that it lists authors, but look, it also lists series. So you have an option to click there as well if you're looking for a series. I'm going to click on the very first one, and it brings me a list of options available to me. It, the first page is going to have one of 24 out of 396 results. If you look to the left hand side of the screen, you're going to see that you have options of all titles available now. So maybe you want to read it now and not put a hold on it. And something that is coming soon and you would like to get your opportunity first. You can put a hold on it and wait for it to be published. You can also slide over and you can look at the recommend to library. And those are the things that uh, you may have recommended to the library in the past. If you continue down, you can see audience, date added, ebooks, audiobooks, and subjects, and much more. But I would like you to see the different items that are here. The first one, you can see it does say available at the top of the uh, book jacket. The next one says wait list. If it says available, then you are able to borrow it now. And you can see that if you go to the bottom of the book jacket, you're going to see the word borrow. 
If you see the word wait list at the top of the book jacket and you go look down to the bottom, you're going to see it says to place a hold. If you would like more information on the book before you make your decision, you can look, click on the three dots next to the author's name. When I click there, it's going to allow me to read a sample, view some details, and I can also see some of the read-alikes. I'm going to go ahead and borrow this book. I'm going to click on Borrow, and it's going to bring me a box that's asking me how many days I would like to borrow the book for. I can click on 21 days, or using the drop-down arrow, I can select 7 or 14 days. This is when the book will be automatically returned to the library. I'm going to click on Borrow. And now I get a box that's telling me uh, where to find my information. I can, if I wanted to, read it now with Kindle, or I can read it in the browser, or I can download it. Now I have the Libby app, so I would most likely download it, but I would like to see you see more options before I do that. So I'm going to click on the box that has the X, and it brings me back to the page. Now if I wanted to place a hold, the steps are pretty much the same. When I click on place a hold, you're going to see it says I successfully placed a hold. I'm the position I am in for the number of the copies and how I can manage my holds inside of the account. I'm going to click on the X to leave this page. I'm back where I started from. Now, I'd like to go in and see those holds and also my loan. So if you come up to the top, you have two areas. You have a bookshelf and you also have my account. Both will take you to the same place. I'm going to click on the bookshelf this time and you're going to see on the left hand side that I'm in my loans area, but I also have holds, wish list, rated titles, recommendations, and settings as well. If I look at my books that I have checked out, those that I've loaned, uh, you can see that the same information is available to you. But you also have another button. It's called return. So if you do finish the book early, you can click on the return button. It's going to ask you if you're sure and then click on the return title and it will return the item to the collection. And now it's off my, my actual record. I can borrow eight more titles when I'm ready. Now I wanna go and see what my holds look like. So I'm gonna come over here to my holds. When I click on it, it's going to bring me up the list of items that I have on hold. You can see, that uh, here I am, the one I put on hold just a few moments ago, and I have a couple of others. And it does give me some basic information as to about when I place the hold and where I'm at in the lineup on the number of copies. If I wanna edit my email for my notification, I can use this button. If I wanna suspend my hold, I can use the center button. Suspend means that you temporarily wanna be put on, on the shelf so that the person who's beneath you will have the opportunity to have the book first. When you are ready, you just reinstate the hold and you'll go back into the line and you will wait for your hold to become available. You can also remove the hold by clicking on the X to remove the hold. I'm gonna come up here to the very top again and you're going to see a bell. This bell is your notification. That is where if you receive an email, you will be able to click here and let you know which books are available for you to download once your hold is available. I'm going to go back to the front page of, by clicking on the Ohio Digital Library option, and I'm back where I started. I hope this helps you, and if you have any questions, please contact me at trainer at starklibrary.org, and I hope you enjoy your reads.